Hi all, today let's take a look at the public path option which is available in the webpack configuration. So using the public path we will be basically able to define a base path for the assets which are being used within our application. This can be particularly useful for loading child javascript chunk files which are loaded dynamically within our application for code splitting and also we can load other assets like images, fonts, etc. which are needed by our application. So today we will be particularly concentrating on how we can load child chunk files from a particular URL, say a CDN, by making use of the webpack public path. So here we have an Angular 15 application, which basically looks like this. And when I click on this particular button, I will be lazily loading a particular component. The code which is used for importing is this particular code, where I will be dynamically importing this particular component. So that is being tied up to the click of this button. So once I click on that button, I will dynamically import this component. So when we build this application, when we go to our dist folder, you can see that this particular chunk file that is 474, this is the chunk file which contains the additional component. So now let's go to our application and here let us take a look at the network tab. So I am going to press the additional info. Now you can see that this particular file 474 has been downloaded. And when you see the request URL, you can see that it is getting loaded from the current domain itself. That is 4200 is the domain where we have hosted this application. So from the same domain, it tries to fetch the chunk file. So suppose there is a scenario like we need to host this chunk file in another domain, say for example, a CDN. So let's see how we can tackle that. So let's move this file outside the dist folder and now I am going to start another HTTP server. So I am going to serve this file. So this will be served on the localhost 8080. Now Let's refresh our application and when I try to click on the button, you can see that the loading of the chunk file fails because we have removed that file from within the list folder. So how can we access this particular chunk file which is being loaded in the 8080? The webpack exposes a global variable which references the public path. So this is the particular variable underscore webpack public path. So we can just declare this variable and we can assign the URL of the CDN or server where we are hosting our chunk files. So that we can assign it here in our constructor. So I am going to assign the value localhost 8080. And now once we have said this, we have built our application. So now you can see that the 474 JavaScript is not present within the dist and it is being hosted in the localhost 8080. So let's go to our application. And when I click on the additional info, you can see that the chunk file is getting loaded and it is getting loaded from the 8080 port which can be considered as an external domain from the current domain. This way we will be able to make use of the public path variable to load chunk files or any other assets from remote domain. Similarly, we have the option called auto which can be defined within the webpack configuration. So this will be particularly useful for concepts like module federation where we will be defining extra webpack configurations and there within the output 
that is the output section of the configuration we can define the public path as auto so that the location of all the dependent chunk files and other assets will be automatically calculated by webpack so the details of the automatic public path can be seen here within the webpack guides and you can see that webpack automatically determines the url from either of these options so in case you load the main entry file that is remote entry using the script then from the src attribute of the script the webpack will automatically deduce the location of all the other dependent chunk files and download them so hope you are able to get a good idea about the public path and its uses and how we can access the public path within an angular application and set the public path in the runtime see you soon thank you